Hi, this is Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com with the AM Volatility Report. A reminder, this is for educational purposes only. Anything that you hear should be consulted with with a financial professional. Options have risk. Uh, if you lose money, it is your fault. Well, let me tell you, I've, uh, it's the first time I've, I've just watched a congressional hearing where the Wu-Tang Clan was, was invoked. Uh, and uh, while I'm a fan of both Method and Red Men, I'm uh, less a fan of this guy that I just watched on television. Uh, let's talk, uh, and then with that uh, reminder that we have our Option Pit Beginners Boot Camp. Uh, it's going to be a close to nine hours of, of education, uh, and it's going to be pretty awesome. You can learn all the skills that you need to, to understand. Uh, in order to trade options, charting, how to use the brokerage platform, uh, you know, how to sell options, how to buy options, calls and puts, all, all the basics that you need to know. Uh, and uh, right now, it's also going to come with access to the Silver course for free, which is kind of the next step after the beginner boot camp. So we'll give you steps one and two to get you on your trading way. Go to option dot com slash begin camp so let's talk about this market well the market's been uh, moving around to say the least and uh, we've seen it uh, down as much as 10 and, and opening near up and you know so you can see the market kind of bouncing around the VIX is significantly high um, and and you've got vol futures up some today after getting a little bit of a beating yesterday, but, but not the, the huge beating you'd suspect after that turnaround. And uh, for a second there, UBXY was up about a buck and a half. Uh, it was as high as $43. And uh, the way vol futures are pricing themselves, there is an increasing amount of risk being priced into things. Uh, it could be associated with non-farm payrolls. I think a lot of people tell you that they're up in the air on where non-farm payrolls could actually, how they could affect the market as a whole, good, bad, nobody's quite sure what that actually means. Uh, then let's look at uh, some other pieces of, of things. You've got IEF, there's that seven to 10 year treasury, it continues to be nice and firm, bonds are firm. And uh, although you've, we've definitely seen some of the, the back end of the curve, but the yield curve is flattening, flattening, flattening. It's it's pretty spectacular how flat and flattened that curve is getting. Uh, you've got uh, short-term rates at 25 basis points and long-term rates, 10-year rates at 1.9. That is an incredibly flat, an incredibly flat yield curve, and it shows uh, the race for cash. Uh, meanwhile, take a look at the dollar. Uh, you know, we uh, we saw how. Uh, the euro had a, a pretty decent move yesterday and is now up another 90 cents today. And that volatility still seems cheap to me when I look at a chart of it. Uh, we wrote about this on our blog. When I look at a chart of euro vault, despite the big move the last couple of days, uh, it, it's, it's inexpensive and it continues to gap and move. And, and so this is not a volatility that I think one wants to be short. Uh, Looking at oil, oil's up today and the market's down. We're, we've definitely seen correlation break and risk move away from just oil into banks and, and all sorts of other pieces of the economy. Uh, while I don't think we're in any type of 2008 or 2011 situation, there's definitely a underlying kind of sickness to the market that is scaring traders. I would note that vol, option vol on VIX options is still relative to where we've been not high as VVIX is below 100. So how do I trade today? I think that uh, after yesterday's turnaround, who knows, but uh, we seem to have a, a pattern of kind of softening here on the on the open, and uh, I think we are going to see that move. Uh, I, I think that uh, we're probably going to test, test lows from where there's a decent chance that we get near uh, testing levels from yesterday. Certainly, um, Yesterday's open and or yesterday's kind of 
secondary low uh, could, could be in play. There's a lot of different pieces. Uh, markets are going to range bound between 1870 and, and 1920, and we're near the top of that range, so I would expect things to to fall back a little bit. Um, but uh, I think today you have to lean from a long vol side, and that the way I would I'm going to be trading things is to be looking to to be and you know we're going to have. You know, things moving around. I mean, the fact that oil stocks are down and oil's up decently is, is a little bit of a uh, of an odd uh, an odd thing. So there's some weird underlying pieces that are, are popping around in, in in the market that that you know where even though we were selling off last week there was some sense to it. You said if oil drops, that's why we sell off. Now there's you know, not a lot of rhyme or reason as to why different pieces are moving around. Stocks that had great earnings are getting slammed. Facebook, Google, stocks that, uh, you know, then you've got financials which have been battered that are up. So uh, kind of an odd uh, movement of money today, if you will. And that right now financials are about the only thing holding the market up. It'll be interesting to see if uh, if that if that is able to, to stick. But if you look at that VIX and if you look at vol futures, you know, they're still in a contango, they're still bid, and there's still a lot of fear they're up significantly right now. So they're the market's pricing in some some direct fear and and uh, it's not uh, not safe sailing out there. All right, folks. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com. You can email me, 888-TRADE-01. Uh, and I uh, hope everybody has a great morning.